here's one of the things, though, in, in terms of impact, why I think this movie was so great for an audience, especially nowadays. There was a little girl next to you. Uh, she kind of sounded like she had a cold, yes. poor thing, who was, I kid you not, on the edge of her seat from the beginning to end of this movie. She yeah. was so enthralled in seeing these women up on screen, taking down bad guys, kicking butt, being a cohesive girl team that wasn't bitchy or catty or competitive, but was literally just, we're going to work together to take down these bad guys. And for me, seeing a little girl on the edge of her seat like that, that was so enjoyable because I'm like, this movie will impact her the way that movies impacted me when I was a kid. For me, they were all the fairy tale stories and damsels in distress. This is going to be so much better for her because she's going to see women being their own heroes. And I, I think that's all that this movie needs to do. Yeah, and I think that's important. And I think that's one of the reasons that this movie should have been PG-13 over R. Uh, you know, and a lot of people are saying that, oh, you know, there you go, trying to make this, uh, you know, like a Disney film and trying to, you know, sugarcoat it and make it lame. PG-13 no. doesn't need to be lame, okay? One... The R rating on this, if they were going to go R, make it more R, okay? Yeah, it, give me more bloodshed, was give me, no, you know... It was no R film. They, they, they threw a couple of F-bombs in there. There were a couple of, like, like gratuitous violence scenes that, you but know, not a, a even little really. bit, like, like, like a small... We have seen so much worse violence. Yes, this, yes. This, I mean... Most of Harley Quinn isn't even blood. Like, you know, she's just beating people with a baseball bat. And unfortunately, you're already, uh, you know, doing an uphill climb by having this be a female superhero film. You know, there is, there's still some misogyny out there and there's still a people that, that are not going to go see this movie. So you're already having that uphill battle that you're that you're fighting. And so making it R, it's, it's going to make it even tougher to, to reach uh, that, that audience. And that little girl in the audience... That, I mean, her dad was cool enough to take her to this film, even though it was R-rated. But that little girl in there, that's who you're making that PG-13 uh, movie for. You know, you're making it so, so that they, they can see someone like them up on screen that, especially in Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn, who's not the pretty princess. Yes, she's she's sexy and everything like that, but she's, she's different. She's unique. She's just... But here's the thing. If you're going to make it R because you're going for sex appeal, because you're trying to appeal to the patriarchy and man and, and like overcome the misogyny, then I'm sorry these women weren't sexy enough. <laughs> like, th that's just it. Like, this was a true half-assing across the board. Yeah. Don't half-ass this. Make it PG-13. Make it for the little girls out there who don't fit in with the pretty princess girls and the popular girls, but who think, I can stand on my own two feet and I can kick ass and I can take names. Applaud those girls. Make a movie for those girls. Because trying to, like, over-sexify the female supervillains to make it an R rating is pathetic. So let's not do that. It's not that they shouldn't have made it R. It's just that they... They didn't use the R rating to their advantage at all. They didn't really do anything with that R rating, so they cut their legs out from underneath them. Deadpool w was R. You can't make that movie... If you made that movie PG-13, it would have sucked, no, all right? No, no, you can't do that. Uh, Joker, if you made that movie PG-13, it would have sucked, all right? In um, any Joker version. Yeah. I'm talking Black Knight Rises or Dark Knight Rises. Well, Dark Knight Rises was PG-13, though. Was it really? Yeah, Dark Knight Rises was PG-13. God, PG he was terrifying. How was that PG-13? He was terrifying in there. There were certain scenes that they didn't, they didn't show. Oh, he was One of my terrifying. friends said, yeah, yeah, Mio had a problem with that. My buddy, my buddy Mike Mio had a problem. It's like, every Joker movie should be R-rated. Uh, but they still had it. I would have thought that one was. I mean, the whole pencil, like, yeah, how exactly. you, oh the, my god, the, how do you they, make that? Because they didn't actually show it. They didn't actually show a thing. And that's the thing. Sometimes you don't need to show it. See, she still thought, like, it still had that feeling in her. Yeah. Even though you didn't see it. We feel like people have become so desensitized that we have to show them everything, you know? Like, we really have to show no, them the, the don't graphicness. don't show us. Our imaginations are so much worse than anything yeah. you can show us. Exactly. They were, they were trying to make, like, a cute, fun film, but still R-rated, but not really, like, too much R-rated. Like, it seemed like every time someone swore and dropped an F-bomb, like, I could, like, almost see the actor smiling, like, like, like we just swore in a superhero movie. I just got away with this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take it to one, to one extreme. If you're going to go R-rated, go, go, go all out and, you know, you know, really, really take it there.